So we've got these two things on different hands, but we've got to we've got to mesh them together, and that's what the value framework does. The value framework is about validating, aligning. It's about leverage. It's underpinning. It's evolve. And so very broadly, we can use this to think about. Okay, we must validate opportunities first. So takes two to tango. That's my kind of catchphrase for that particular part of the framework. We want to work in a, in a, in a way that's conducive to partnering. Does the other side want to do that as well? Do other people want to get involved with that? So we elevate what qualification is. So whether it's BANT, EBAN, MENT, Scotsman, Rampact, Medic, which, whichever one of the things you're using, I'd like to add in a psychological element saying, well, how do they actually operate? Is that something where we can work together effectively? That's another addition we can make to bring partnering skills into selling. So when we think about aligning, it's about doing your homework. It's about doing your homework right. Yeah, so it's about preparation, preparation planning. So plans, again, whatever flavor of plan you use, is it a key account plan, is it a five point plan? Is it mapping decision-making unit? Is it putting together a mutual action plan? That's all useful because of the thinking that it stimulates so that we can then move in with that insight that it's, that it's driven into the leverage part, which is making sure that our conversations, making sure our interactions, which is making sure the stuff that we do is making a difference to customers. And that can be as simple as just making sure meetings have got a decent structure. Yeah, so that we can step through meetings in a logical format to make sure we're doing the right things at the right time rather than having a jumbled mess. So it's about the salesperson being able to take control of that and lead people through that. And so from meetings, we can grow that into all the interactions that we're having with a potential, potential customer. Underpinning. So underpinning is about the stuff that holds the building up. That's, that's what underpin means. And, and so thinking about okay we're we're giving proposals we're giving ideas here how can we back that stuff up how can we substantiate it how can we it? how can we make sure the message is making sense to people so underpinning again some of the things some of the practical tools people can use write good proposals put together presentations that are flipped so that customers are spoken about first before we start talking about the company really having good Proof of return on investment. Think about how it's going to impact the business, selling business outcomes. All of those are things which will make underpinning a key part and bring that partnering skills element to, to what we're doing. And evolve. So once we start the relationship, how can we keep moving that forward? How can we make sure that the good work that we've done, the results that we've been delivered, we can continue to do? So having review sessions, getting feedback, Simply asking the question, have we developed, delivered the value that you expect? And working off the response of that is a way of revolving and, uh, sorry, evolving and making sure that we're keeping things moving forward to be able to maintain and build the relationship even further. 